focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Historically, if you look at the stock market, diamond trade, chemical market or textile trade, you will notice that these businesses to a large extent are dominated by one community, Gujaratis. As a thumb rule, this community does not like to work for others. They like to run their own outfit, big or small. In other words, they like to be their own boss. One could say business runs in their veins. Nobody could have said that better than Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Writing a foreword in the recently released book, Dhanda, How Gujaratis Do Business, Modi says, and I quote him, Gujarati's way to tackle the tough situation with tenderness and to enter the world of entrepreneurship are unique but diverse. The traits, tricks, and tolerance for success are the inherent business sense of Gujaratis. They work hard and have the habit of toiling till the road to success and path for progress is carved out, unquote. The hero of this week's episode is no exception to the rule. The Ahmedabad born and based Sandeep Engineer wanted to be a businessman right from the word go. Sandeep Engineer, whose firm Astral Polytechnic pioneered polymer pipes in India, shows how three setbacks in business did not deter him. It only made him more determined to succeed. Take a look at Astral Polytechnic story and you'll know how to succeed in business by changing track. That was Chulbul Pandey beating the daylights out of the bad guys in Dabang 2. Now, if Dabang made the character Chulbul Pandey a household name, its sequel, Dabang 2, has created a good brand awareness for a conventional product like Pipe. Surprised? Let's rewind a bit. Notice the pipe with which Chulbul Pandey beats the goons? It's Astral Polymer Pipe. This pipe is fast replacing the conventional galvanized iron pipes in factories and homes. For the Ahmedabad based Astral Polytechnic, the in film advertising strategy seems to have worked to the T. Today, Astral Pipe is referred to as Dabangwala Pipe by dealers and plumbers all over the country. What ensured the Dabang Connect was the 360 degree activity after the movie was released. The company created a buzz around it. It put up 200 hoardings in Tier 1 and Tier 2 cities. Trains, buses, trams and autos were painted likewise. And special screenings of the movie were organised for the company's dealers, distributors, plumbers and their main clients. We got a very good response. Uh, people in rural areas now you know, recognise Astral as the Dabang Pipe and uh, <clears throat> dealers have been demanding our product. We've seen a good growth in our uh, dealer network. Uh, good recognition among the plumbers. Even uh, a lot of the end consumers now, you know, remember uh, Astral Pipe. Because, you know, in-film branding is one property where anytime it plays on TV or anyone buys it on DVD or any, your pipes will always be there. The Dabang 2 effect was instantly visible. The management, which feared not so good numbers in financial year 2013 because of the general economic slowdown, were pleasantly surprised to see its sales turnover grow by 42% to 821 crore rupees, while net profit recorded a 50% jump to 71.1 crore rupees. Historically, the company, ever since its 55 crore rupee public issue in 2007, has been posting good results. Between 2007 and 2013, its sales grew from 96.9 crore rupees to 821.1 crore rupees, registering a CAGR of 43%. Likewise, net profit grew at a CAGR of 37%, from 9.1 crore rupees to 59.5 crore rupees. With such good results, it was not surprising to see stock markets giving its script a thumbs up. 
The Astral stock, which has a face value of 5 rupees, is currently hovering around 570 rupees. Translated, this means more bang for the buck for the investors. People who had invested 1 lakh rupees in its 2007 IPO are now worth 9 lakh rupees. Yet, some analysts and investors are complaining about low dividend payout in relation to Astral's high profit. I accept that complaint. Uh, that is the regular complaint from the investor community and we understand as a CFO I understand very well that anybody want the dividend payout ratio at a very high level. But the challenge is with the company that, that we are growing at a very fast rate. You see how many companies in this country are growing at a 40% plus CAGR consistently for almost 7-8 years. So that challenge is with us also. So what we have decided at the board level that till our growth territory is at a high rate that is 40% plus level, we will be keeping the dividend payout ratio at a low level because the capex plan is there. Low dividend payout will continue for the next three to four years as the company has chalked a capex program to invest 60 to 65 crore rupees every year. Astral, which means something heavenly, is a pioneer in polymer pipe in India. Set up in 1996, it introduced chlorinated polyvinyl chloride in Indian plumbing market in collaboration with Specialty Process LLC of USA, which has a 14% stake in Astral. With this technological support, Astral's plant in Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh and Tamil Nadu manufacture plumbing systems from half-inch diameter to 12-inch diameter. The products include CPVC pipes and fittings for hot and cold water plumbing systems, CPVC industrial piping system for transportation of hazardous and high corrosive chemicals and lead-free PVC systems for cold water applications. Astral product always has an edge over the other products in the market. And uh, also it has been the first entrant in a lot of products. You name the CPVC market, then you they were the first to bring out lead-free piping for UPVC plumbing, they were the first to bring out uh, this foam core product for underground drainage, then again Corzon product for uh, industrial CPVC requirements and they have also strategically tied up with lot of uh, foreign partners and they are giving good products like Wavin and Alcatel. All these products uh, makes Astral as a very good profile, uh, gives Astral a very good product profile. What makes Astral Pipe stand out is its focus on quality control. We are the only company in India having an NSF certification for our CPVC plumbing products. It's a US based non-profit organization and they give a certification to the plumbing products. This is a very unique certification and as they are a non-profit organization, they ensure that everything comes in order as far as the portability and the health effect of the product is concerned. So they will check all our quality controls and all those uh, manufacturing process to ensure that the correct manufacturing techniques has been uh, implied and all the testing has been done as per the standards. Today, looking at Sandeep Engineer's business plan and confidence, nobody would believe that he has had three entrepreneurial setbacks. To hark back in time, after graduating in BE Chemicals in 1981, Sandeep joined Cadilla Laboratories as a project engineer. Here he was quite inspired by the owners of Cadilla. He too wanted to be an entrepreneur like them. In 1984, the country was witnessing its wave of liberalization with Rajiv Gandhi taking over as PM. An optimistic Sandeep chucked his job, borrowed 50,000 rupees from his father and got into distribution of Isab Gol, a natural laxative. The business ran into trouble for no fault of his. This was his first entrepreneurial setback. Not willing to give up, Sandeep convinced his mentor Pankaj Patel at Cadilla with a business proposition to supply active pharmaceutical ingredients. However, this venture too ran into trouble when a unit, for which Sandeep invested huge sums to buy a large plot of land, did not get the green signal from the Gujarat Pollution Control Board. He suffered his second entrepreneurial setback. With money locked in the land, Sandeep flew to the USA to meet his uncle, who was the R&D head of BF Goodrich, which was making PVC pipes, and they readily agreed to collaborate. Thus began his odyssey into polymer pipes in 1998 when he set up Astral Polytechnique. It was not an easy business as it meant replacing conventional GI pipes which were 30% cheaper than PVC pipes. 
Within two years of operations, all hell broke loose in 2001. The company's banker Madhavpura Cooperative Bank, involved in the Ketan Parik scam, went belly up. Result, the company had no working capital facility for nearly six months till Corporation Bank came along. During the same period, its 10-year marketing JV with a well-known company collapsed within 10 days of signing the MOU. Result, Astral was saddled with seven trucks of finished products. And also, there were few takers for its industrial application pipe. The company was broke. It was a third entrepreneurial setback for Sandeep. But Sandeep did not wilt under pressure. He decided to fight back. First, he rejigged the company's product portfolio. Instead of concentrating on industrial applications, Astral got into the plumbing segment and added new products like fittings and lead-free CPVC pipes to woo the customers. He also convinced his JV partner to invest more. And at the ground level, he started jetting around, meeting with prospective clients and educating the plumbers. All this was beginning to yield results. By 2005, there was no looking back. Today, Astral has 2,000 staff on its payroll who operate its four plants located in Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Operating at a 64% capacity utilization, it sells its products via a network of 400 distributors and 13,000 dealers across the country. Besides, it exports to Sri Lanka, Maldives, Bhutan and Nepal and has set up a JV in Kenya. And looking at Sandeep's focus, attitude and body language, this company is well on its way to become a segment leader in India. Time for a short break, but when we come back, we talk to the moving force behind Astral, Sandeep Engineer, who is now planning to bring the brand behind the wall to the front. Also joining us on the show is Sandeep Uppal of HSBC. Stay tuned.